All right. Good day, folks. We're back in the car. Uh, I figure while I'm getting adjusted to this new schedule that I'm I'm kind of dealing with, or just I mean I'm just getting adjusted to this. I figured I would do a couple of these mini road reflection episodes from the car. Talk to you guys about some shit that that uh, you know corporate media isn't going to talk about, or. Uh, as, as you'll see t t about today's video, it's about how, uh, corporate media is, uh, is trash. How they're a bunch of garbage. How they're a bunch of propagandistic neoliberal garbage. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, I, I read an article today from The Hill, and, uh, uh Alan McCloy from, from Mint Press News was the one that, 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 tweeted about it to, and, and, and like kind of alerted me to this article's existence as it were uh, and the article is titled is Joe Biden Clark Kent or Superman which is an insane question to ask because the correct answer is he's fucking neither he's neither of those things he's not a fucking superhero He's a shitty racist politician. <laughs> so let's kind of go over what this article covered, right? Like most of the article, it it, it starts asking the question of like, what what kind of what kind of person is he? Is he the is he the mild mannered minor journalist, or is he the superhuman demigod from a different planet here to save everybody, right? And and, and it breaks some stuff down. Uh, very incorrectly, uh, might I add, very, very incorrectly, where, you know, it starts by talking about his American rescue plan, and the article claims that it's more progressive than the New Deal, uh, or, uh, LBJ's Great Society, which I'm not f exactly familiar with LBJ's Great Society, uh, probably something that I, I have to do more research on, but I know, I know, I know about the New Deal, I know enough about the New Deal to know that the American Rescue Plan is not better or more progressive than this. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there that's very hypocritical, right? Uh, he talks about uh, Americans in trouble. He talks about how uh, we need economic reform. Uh, he talks about how uh, Americans need health care. Yet there's no mention of universal basic income. There's no mention of Medicare for all. There's no mention of anything mildly progressive. The crazy part about it is he talks about um, jobs, bringing jobs back to America, you know, and... Uh, that it needs to be good jobs that, you know, support Americans' dignity and, you know, everybody has a right to uh, to a union and, and uh, you know, we, we should bring back uh, the notion of collective bargaining uh, so that the American worker can be taken care of and the American worker can be empowered, yet there is no mention of increasing the minimum wage to rightfully what it should be, well over $20 an hour, or probably closer to $30 an hour, there's no mention of it even being what it should have been 10 years ago, which is $15 an hour. There's also no mention of the fact that if if a union is guaranteed, why, why aren't you going after Amazon for using its union-busting tactics? There's no mention of corporations that, that fuck over their workers by not allowing them to unionize, by penalizing them, by lying about what unions are, why is there no mention of that in there? So that's the first comparison that's in there and it's completely incorrect uh, because this bill is not progressive. It's just gonna be a bunch of neoliberal austerity measures that don't amount to anything. And, that, and, and really just act uh, exactly as Amazon did which is trick the worker into thinking that something like this is beneficial and worthwhile to them when in reality it is not. Uh, it's going to be another corporate giveaway in the name of helping workers. Joe Biden's never given a shit about the working class. Joe Biden's never given a shit about helping people. Joe Biden has never given a shit about 
making sure he's doing the right thing. He's given a shit about being in politics to enrich himself and gain a bunch of power and abuse that power to benefit himself. This is his entire political career. And he's going to continue doing it. He's pulling the wool over your eyes. And the Hill putting this thing by, by saying, you know, oh, well, he looks like a mild-mannered Clark Kent. He's, he, you know, you, you, might, you might look at him and think of mild-mannered Clark Kent. Really? That's not what I think of. When I look at Joe Biden, I think of senile old racist that shouldn't be in the most, position, uh, in the most powerful position in the world. That's what I think of. But this article is going to try to make you think that he's some mild-mannered journalist, mild-mannered good guy, you know, the quote, Boy Scout, that's going to come and save the world. Here comes Joe and me. He's going to go into a phone booth and transform into a superhero and come down and save everybody. That's never going to fucking happen. This dude is the architect of mass incarceration. This dude is somebody that supported the racist war on drugs and then amplified it with his own crime bill. Superman nor Clark Kent have ever done that. I've never read a, I've never read a Superman story. Where he was like, you know what we need to do is we got to fucking disrupt the black community and peace activists. I'm going to go in there and heat visions to black folk. That's never what fucking Superman's ever done. Joe Biden is not a sign of hope. That's what the S is supposed to symbolize for Superman. He's not a sign of hope. I don't feel hope from the Biden administration. And I bet you a majority of America doesn't either. So then they bring up Afghanistan, and they and they say, oh, well, much like Superman, he came out and he said, enough is enough. Yeah, never in, Superman doesn't argue for war. He's not a war criminal. He's never voted for going to war, legally or illegally. Joe Biden's never been a war he didn't like. And then they and then they go in and be like, well, what are we gonna do about the special forces? Where are they gonna attack the terrorists? We got all these terrorists and the troops are coming out. Where are we gonna attack them while the troops are there? And, the, and then the special forces, where are they gonna attack? Oh, well, we gotta look for where Russia and China are interfering. You gotta look out for where Russia and China are coming in. So then the article just becomes this anti-China, anti-Russia article where where Uncle Joey B. He's going to jump into that fucking phone booth and he's going to spin around. He's going to get dizzy. He's going to fall down for a minute. And then Jill's going to be like, your, your, cape's, your cape's in the bedroom, Joe. Your cape's in the bedroom. And he's going to don on a cape and he's going to look at the, uh, the president of China and he's going to be like, stop it. I've got freeze breath. I'll freeze your economy. And by freeze breath, I mean economic sanctions. I'll freeze your economy. That's the majority of the article. Is this is this anti-China propaganda, pro-war propaganda, and this fake pro-worker propaganda? Superman wasn't racist. <laughs> Never tried to beat the shit out of somebody or put them in jail because they smoked marijuana. Which Joe Biden is still doing. The Biden administration fired, demoted, or... Uh, yeah, fired or demoted um, staffers that had ever smoked weed in their life. He's still actively pursuing the war on drugs. And this guy is supposed to be like Clark Kent or Superman who in the DC comic universe is a beacon of hope, who has more power than anybody else in the DC universe, any hero, I'll say any hero in the DC universe, right? His, his power is, is seldom rivaled, and, he, and, and in a lot of instances, he doesn't abuse his power. You know what Joe Biden has done? Abused his power. Ask Tara Reid. 
Ask the countless amounts of women that came out and said that Joe Biden sexually assaulted them. Joe Biden's not even Lex Luthor, right? Neither is, neither is Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is also not Lex Luthor. Uh, Lex Luthor is more of like, I think, an anti-hero. Like, he's a villain, but he's more of an anti-hero. He's a sociopath. Uh, I guess that's the one thing that I think Biden and, and Bezos and Lex Luthor have in common is, is their sociopathy. I guess that's something that you can say they have in common. Superman's an immigrant. Like, the ultimate immigrant. Because he's not from the planet. Joe Biden's not an immigrant. And Joe Biden fucking abuses immigrants. There are still kids in cages, folks. The immigration system has been uh, uh, broken. Regardless of whether a Democrat or Republican have been in office. It wasn't even incrementally better when a Democrat was in office. Obama deported more uh, immigrants than Bush. Obama created ICE. Biden's going to keep ICE around. Trump over-empowered ICE. Biden's probably going to over-empower ICE too because he believes that he believes in cops of all forms. And what is ICE except immigrant cops? Yeah, that's not a fucking Superman platform. I don't think Superman's like, what we really need is cops for immigrants, and what we really need to do with people from other countries is put them in a cage. In a, in a fucking plexiglass cage. This article is insane. Sorry, I'm trying to pull up as much as I can here to this parking spot uh, so that I don't do that thing where I leave just a wee bit of room where, like, it's it's not enough room that a car can fit in, but, it's, it, but it seems like you can. So, but, you know, so I read the article. I read, I, I read the, you know, some of the stuff that they were saying. Like I said, a lot of it is anti-China propaganda. Uh, a lot of it goes back to hearkening Russiagate. A lot of it is trying to make Joe Biden something that he is not. You look at the way that Joe Biden is going to handle the, uh, the police problem that we have in our country right now. And it's not going to be with empathy. It's not going to be in changing it's not going to be listening to what the activists on the street are saying it's not going to be listening to what a majority of the country is saying which is that we want the police to fund it we want more funding for social services mental health programs education services community driven uh, uh programs we don't want the intelligence communities uh trying to spy on us we don't want corporations co uh, contracted with these intelligence communities and law enforcement agencies to use their technology to essentially strip us of our civil rights. We don't want any of that stuff. And Joe Biden's plan is let's give them more money to train them to not choke out people, to train them to not put their knee on people's neck, to train them to not choke. That should have already been accomplished. You gave them $30 billion in the fucking 90s for this very specific thing. And now you want to frame him to be the Boy Scout, to be the beacon of hope, to be the good guy, the ultimate good guy. At best, and, and I don't believe this is actually true, but, but I'm, I'm going to give you a perspective that I probably will hear in the comment sections uh, and, and, my, and my Twitter feed from a bunch of fucking um, liberal Democratic Party apologists, is at best this article doesn't know... Anything about Superman, other than the fact that he is an iconic superhero, and you know the 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 this 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 symbol of being a good guy. Okay, and they don't really know anything about Joe Biden either. At worst, this is propaganda 
to try to revise Joe Biden's history so that you don't actually look into his history and find out all the horrific shit that he's been doing since the 60s and 70s. <coughs> and the Hill is basically another, you know, mouthpiece of the Democratic Party. I mean, it, it has been, but now it's kind of being more exposed that this is the mouthpiece of the Democratic Party. You're, we're going to see a lot of this. We already have, prog quote, pro quote, progressive politicians like AOC um, justifying things for Joe Biden. And now we have papers like The Hill claiming that he's Superman. This is an elderly man with a, with a possible degenerative brain condition that should not be doing one of the most stressful jobs in the country. He should be retired and out of public life. That's not what Superman is either. He's also not a racist. He's also not a, 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 an American imperialist. This article is so insane. It's such an insane article. Uh, and I know there's going to be a bunch of people touting it, and that's just sad. It's just sad that a bunch of people will end up touting it and believing that he, be believing that Joe Biden is Superman. There is no superhero that you can, you can uh, legitimately connect Joe Biden to. Because he's not a hero. He's not a good guy. He is a bad person. All right, uh, we're going to wrap it up right there. I wanted to talk about that article because it was so crazy. And I know it's, you know, it's it's that level of propaganda. that and, and I think it should be revealed, right? I think you should point out pieces of propaganda that you see out there. Um, and this is an op-ed piece. It's, it's, you know, but they're going to they're going to tout it uh, like it's a legitimate piece of journalism. Uh, so I wanted to get it out there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you guys know the drill. If you're, if you're regular viewers of this, uh, of, of, uh, of my videos then uh, hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe, make sure you're following me on Rockfin for, um, for, for uncensored content, content that, uh, you know, you guys can just watch whenever you want. And, uh, you can just go to my channel and check out all of my content. It's not going to be hidden by some kind of algorithm. Uh, rockfin.com slash krishmohanhaha. Uh, a couple other things. I've got a brand new Taboo Table Talk coming out. Uh, of two brand new Taboo Table Talks coming out. I've got uh, another forkful of noodles coming out. And if you do subscribe to my Rockfin, by the way, uh, you will also get an early, um, early access to the newest full episode of Forkful of Noodles. So all three parts of the, of, of the War on Drugs episode um, holistically put together in one video, so you get the early access to that. Uh, my my email list will also, but, the, but my sustaining members will also be getting an early access to that as well. Um, so that is coming out soon. Uh, there's going to be a new virtual story coming out soon, uh, which I'm very excited about. Uh, and uh, and there's a show. I've got a virtual show coming out soon. Uh, on uh, Friday, April 30th. Tickets are available to that show right now. You can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Grab your tickets. While you're there, you can become a sustaining member, make one-time donations, join my email list, and check out my new merch. Uh, I set up an online merch page. Uh, there's a bunch of t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, uh, die-cut stickers, that sort of stuff. And there's one particular design uh, for Julian Assange. Uh, it, it says, uh, free Assange or keep calm and war crime on. And that, what I'm going to do is I will be donating the, the, the income I make from that to uh, pro-Assange groups. So the more people that buy those shirts, the more that I'll be able to support those pro-Assange groups. And last but not least, if you do go to my donation page, 
Um, I do have a statement of transparency up there as far as how much I'm making in terms of donations, sustaining memberships, and uh, what I need to do this full time without having another job or anything like that. Uh, so I can just produce content full time for you guys. Um, so I have a statement of transparency about all of that. So if you're if you're you know either on the fence or boy I don't know if if this is the right thing for me or not. Um, you know, that statement of transparency might help you make that decision. So, uh, I encourage you guys to go check that out, but, uh, I will probably, I'm going to try to bring the live streams back as soon as possible. Uh, that is my goal. I do want to get those live streams back up. This schedule is a little bit more daunting than I anticipated it to be. It's a little bit more difficult than I anticipated it to be. So, um, you know, I, I appreciate your patience and uh, if the live streams are not going to be able to come back next week, uh, then what I'll do is I'll do some more of these kind of short little videos from the car, uh, and they'll be like the mini road reflections kind of videos. Uh, but there's tons of stuff to, to get caught up on and and and, uh, and and check out. So I hope you guys do. But till then, enjoy your weekend, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Bye, guys.